friends today we would be synthesizing chromyl chloride and its peroxide compound chromyl chloride is a volatile hexavalent chromium compound that is chromium 6 plus for the synthesis of chromyl chloride we require three reagents a dichromate salt that is potassium dichromate i am using here a chloride salt i have used sodium chloride and concentrated sulfuric acid First of all, we would measure and take approximately 250 mg of chloride salt and the same amount of potassium dichromate in a small glassware. After that, we would mix it well. Now, we would be adding 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid into this mixture. Always be extra careful while handling concentrated sulfuric acid as it is corrosive. I am using a dropper to add the acid into the flask. Also, try to keep the moisture level in the flask as minimum as possible. After adding the concentrated sulfuric acid, I gently heated the contents and you can see the reddish brown fumes of chromyl chloride. One of the interesting property of chromyl chloride is it is highly denser than air and as you can see that it flows down into the flask just like water will do. When potassium dichromate was allowed to react with sodium chloride in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid, two reactions took place. In one reaction, gaseous hydrochloric acid was formed and in the second reaction, chromyl chloride was formed. To be honest, this reaction is even more complex. Even the hydrochloric acid would react with the dichromate to form the chromyl chloride. Now we will be preparing the peroxide solution. I have taken 100 ml of distilled water in an Erlenmeyer flask and I added 3 ml of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Now I am adding 0.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid with constant stirring as we should be always careful while adding concentrated acid to water. Now we are going to pour the chromyl chloride vapors into the solution which we prepared just now. Observe the air fluid level. You can very well appreciate the formation of beautiful blue colored streaks into the liquid layer. Now we will be observing the same reaction much more closer. You can see that I am pouring down the chromyl chloride vapors down into the fluid. Care must be taken that we are not pouring the solution into the fluid. Only the vapors should be entering into the flask. You can see that on touching the fluid level, blue streaks are formed into the flask. This reaction took place in two steps. In the first step, chromyl chloride underwent hydrolysis to form the dichromate ion. In the second step, the dichromate ion reacted with the peroxide in acidic solution to form the chromium peroxo compound which is blue in color. Since hexavalent chromium compounds are carcinogenic, we are going to detoxify them by converting them into trivalent form. So, we pour down all the hexavalent chromium compound into a beaker containing water and we pour in sodium sulfide solution so that it gets reduced into the trivalent form which is less toxic and can be disposed of safely. Precautions Hexavalent forms of chromium are carcinogenic, especially the volatile hexavalent form chromyl chloride. Also, concentrated sulfuric acid is corrosive. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the content of this video, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will be notified about my new video.